title in this video we're going over workflow how to create a perfect portrait with face swap inside the stable diffusion for this we're going to use it stable diffusion with automatic 1111 11 installations as well we're going to use it two extensions one will be control net and next will be face swap if you don't have it, any of those extensions you can easy install by going to available extensions available load from and from here you can just search for the control net you'll notice mine is already installed so it will show you as the install it is with my control net right here on the bottom so this one is the web you can just click installed and it should install for you with all necessary libraries and another one you want to do it's a face swap as well you notice right here it's installed the face swap have some prerequisitions need be installed one of them i highly recommend to install visual code it's used to utilize some dll's and beside it's nice application to debug additional code and if you have more questions about the face swap i will provide all links down below you can go check repository and take directly from there or you can watch one of my video that I will post it link down below and also notification on the corner. You can watch how to install that extension. After when you install extension, it's highly recommend for you to restart your server to the point so you can see um, additional tab for face lab if you need to do this as well. In a drop down box, you should have it now control net and face swap lab available for you we won't do the train on face swap so we'll just use it as a portrait creating from painting for this we're going to inside image to image and i'm going to drag and drop one of the photo i took in a studio next what i want to do i want based on this photo and based on this person i want to go ahead and create like oil painting in some styles one nice thing is when you use the image and you will utilize lower distinct noise this will allow to pass some coloring and pauses but if we increase the string um, the noise string then we'll start losing for this point we will start using control net so let's go ahead and take step by step so you can see what's going on first what i want to do it's going and says a rococo portrait of the woman oil painting highly detailed with brush strokes next i want to put it some negative prompts here bad eyes all the stuff and we're going to change a little bit height readjust so it will match our image you can adjust this by dragging and back i'm also utilizing the deliberate version of five the checkpoint and we're going to use it the APM to two plus plus two M cars as well will pop up this two hour 35 steps let's leave it everything as default at this time and we're going to just click generate okay and right here we have a clean image look like painting with some detailization we can increase detailizations by also increase simpling methods on this maybe to 45 and we also can put the additional parameters like painter texture or other options to describe for stable diffusion that we want higher texture as well and you'll notice we have a little bit nicer image but again this is how you want to adjust your own look and feel okay for now i'm just will leave it as default here the problem is what happening right now we do have it somewhat look alike but it's not exactly the same and because pose does not match for this we want to use it control net let's go ahead and enable i'm going to expand control net click enable and because we're using in image in image it will read the image above but i still want to do click on a pixel perfect so it will read properly resolution and dimensions the spec rate show as well we're going to use it open pose which will involve the for us pose eyes position head mouth all the necessary details 
we leave it preprocessor and model as default but i want to check on control net is more important so let's go ahead click right now and see how this will affect our new generate image and if you notice right now we have it properly position of the head as well as the body because control net start reading this time we can actually experiment even more one what i want to do is actually drop down to six on our cfg scale and if you're interested you can also experiment with the denoise string the higher denoise string it means less original image will be applied and lower denoise string it's meaning we will have it more of original image so let's go ahead very crazy put it 0 0.9 and generate now and here we have the result as well let's go take our denoise string and just put it to 0, 0 maybe 5 right here very very low and also compare this and of course if you notice because we reduce the noise almost to the minimum we have it almost identical image in many cases if you want to kind of keep very similar look with some effect you want to keep it around 0 0.4 the more you're going less it will rely on your original image and more will rely on control net pauses let's go ahead and put it 0 0.4 and generate our image my goal is not completely change our image my goal to create it some painting look resembling our original image and you can see from this point we have a clean oil painting it's about rococo style and i do like how it's come up right on the side uh, bottom right corner this is my signature on my photo and it's kind of try to transfer so it's this is what line stands for you can try several different options till you find one preset that you like the best next we want to transfer our face even the face looks somewhat close but it's not exactly same if we want to apply similar face because it's what we mostly will go after we want to use it additional extension and as I said before, we will go and utilize face swap lab. Let's expand this. Right here, you will notice you have your reference image. And I'm just going to drag and drop my original image here. I don't need to use it any checkpoint. We'll use the original. I want enable. Click on button enable. We want to also be sure it's the same gender right now. You can always change if you need it. Also, we don't need to worry about sort of the size because we have it just one person if you have it more than one person you can specify what persons in number is going as well you can reference inside the image we leave it default swap everything let's go look a little bit more on advance we have options for similarity this is mostly in the case if you want to keep it even more similar options on the faces and we can enable this but i think because with one image we don't need worried this point you also can have it pre in painting if you're using those options as well next we have it post processing and advanced mask options in this case it will create a mask if you want to use it for um, mostly in the animations or if you want to use it in a post processing environment or maybe you want to apply with like backgrounds in the future and of course post-processing in painting as well options in the, what we're doing right now just simple replacing this should just work with only enable we don't need worried about anything else and of course we don't have any other faces we'll just work on only one face and let me go verify everything and now we're ready this time we can go click generate and of course as generated you can see right here have a face somewhat similar but not exactly same face and with the face swap we'll take from our original image and we're going placed here and there go is ex look exactly same because using same face and it's actually look somewhat painting to me 
I maybe want to increase a little bit of my resolution because it looks a little bit washed out or at contrast. So in this case, let's go ahead and put it 75. This is maybe a little bit too much for Jailbird, but sometimes I want to experiment with those values in C if they provide a little bit more detailizations or sharpness than my image. In this case, it's yet better job on right now. And my next step usually it is upscale because this image originally is a little bit higher resolution than what we have it. Our resolution is 512 by 784 and originally image is about 2000 or 3000 pixels. The next step for upscale, we're going to our extras and right here you can see the extra tab. And this tab we can specify what upscale we want to use. Right here, specify what this size you wanted by how much, four times, and also what upscaler to use. Personally, I found the uh, real is grind for X work the best for me. But you can experiment with a different type of upscalers and see which one you like it. This step is very easy. You just select which one upscaler you want to use it and click generate. You could also experiment with a different amount on the resizing if you want bigger or smaller. And this process shouldn't take very long, but in the end, you should receive it your upscale image. Notice right there with the ear and a little bit on the shoulder, you have sometimes artifacts, and this is related to the upscaler. In this case, you can also play a little bit more with upscaling. And if you have a too much distortion on the face, you can always enable GFC scan, which will help a little bit with this. Let's go try as an experiment. We'll put it 0 0.7. I don't want to put it too much. And we'll go ahead and click Generate again. And here are our result. We'll still probably have it artifacts in the ear, but face usually look a little bit cleaner with this. In many cases, even without this, just the upscale will work fine for any image and restore it to original. Of course, the image by itself, as we generated with image to the image, it is applied a little bit less detailizations and textures what we have it before. But this is related to the what checkpoint you currently use it and what um, text prompt you also utilize. Thank you for watching this video about the workflow. If you like it, please subscribe, thumbs up and share. And let me know what is your workflow or how you process portraits or images inside the Stable Diffusion. Thank you. Have a great day.